All right, this is Eric Christensen with Peak Rescue. We're going to talk about the equivocation hitch, also known as the death daisy. Death daisy. Um, some of the common circumstances where we'd use this would be just moving fast through the mountains. Maybe we don't have the time or we don't want to commit to a full on rappel, building an anchor, setting up as normal a double rope rappel. So we're going to use this as a retrievable anchor and you can wrap around anchors, objects that are rough that would normally, if we just fed it around, <clears throat> when we pull, we would either have too much friction, rope damage, things like that. So we can do it in a manner where we can just use, you find the middle of the rope. Again, make sure the rope length is appropriate. Grab the middle. <clears throat> you wanna be mindful on how we wrap this, grabbing this bite on the way it's gonna pull. So if there's stuff over here to get stuck or caught, you just wanna switch it around the opposite direction. <clears throat> I've split the rope in half in two different piles just to kind of keep making sure I don't get things twisted. <clears throat> so we're gonna pull one bite through. Don't pull this too snug up. And then I'm gonna just keep shoving a bite through and then pulling. I wanna to try to get at least six and the one that I'm pulling is the one that I shoved the bite through. Pull, pull, and again, we're trying to get about six of these. Sometimes you can manage a twist by just twisting that bite. All right, so there we go, we have plenty of <clears throat> plenty through, leave plenty of tail here at the end. And then this is the line that we're gonna have under tension that we're gonna repel. We also need to bring this down with us. So we're gonna both either we can throw it, we can take it with us. But again, we need to manage this one on the way down. So just as a demo, I have repelled down on this line. When I get down, I'm gonna pull this and I'm gonna alternate pulling through. It's gonna pull these bites all the way through. And again, under tension, this one's very hard to pull through. So the idea of that slipping on accident while I'm on repel is pretty unrealistic. So I get down, take the tension off, pull bites, and I just keep alternating the bites. And then this is where it'll come loose. And again, there's not too much friction on the rope and it comes all the way through. Now it's fully retrievable. All right, now I'm ready to repel. Again, I'm gonna manage this. This is my pull line as I go down. Again, so get fully off rappel. Make sure you take your knots out of the end of your ropes. This is the pull line. So there's one, and then you can just sit here and keep alternating. <clears throat> 